Well, darlings, it is another week of saying no to any other content except playing Elden Ring all week long. Mm, mm. I don't know if that's devastating to you, but the fact of the matter is, like, I I I've become such an animal, and all I want to do is play this game. It's so good. And so let me just briefly talk about where we last were. We did a secret start to the show on Monday night. We normally do mostly walking on Monday nights, but my co-hosts weren't able to join us. So I just said, hey, let's play and do stuff we haven't done before. So I beat the horse boss that's right here. I think it's Tree Sentinel is the name of it. And then I went to the lake and killed the Ag Heel Dragon. And then I wandered up through here and fought an invader and went into Murkwater Cave where I decided to let Patches live. I also did some more exploring up on this north side. Checked out this area up here. Didn't really see anything particularly new. I then just kind of closed out the stream wandering through this rough area. And you will note that there are some souls over here. And I'll show you a little bit of what's over there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are we all happy? Are we all good? All right. Seems like the kittens are happy. So we have just hit a place called the Smoldering Church. And we are venturing... What a beautiful view. We are venturing into this minor Erd tree, where there is a tree avatar. An Erd tree avatar at the base that's killed us a couple of times. So the plan today is to... Take a few stabs at the Erdtree Avatar, and then I'm going to follow along with this path. I'm just going to follow along with this, get to this telescope, and hopefully make our way all the way down to the next map zone. Oh, do we have some catnip? Oh my god, cat mother. Cats were meowing, so she just do, 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 put some catnip on the heating pad, and it's great. Henrik Bolas says, Hey, Sean, the other day you said some nice things about mistakes being okay. Not good, but okay. I believe that to my girlfriend who had a bad day at work today, and she was very relieved by it. So we both thank you very much. Oh, I'm, I'm so thrilled to hear that. I mean, I actually had a, a therapist explain that to me. And I was like, I made a mistake, and I'm a bad person. She's like, you made a mistake. It's okay. And I'm like, how is it okay? Are you saying it's good to make mistakes? She's like, I didn't say good. I know that you didn't want to have done that. But it's okay. It's okay to accidentally not do your best. As usual, these enemies are not particularly challenging to beat. But if you're not paying attention, you just die. And Fendrick... Oh, yes, we are starting off from the exact location where we left off. Why was I able to kill him? Guardian Sword Spear. Oh, sick. What is a Sword Spear? Oh, the Golden Halberd and the Sword Spear are really similar. This is EC. And of course, I'm a, I'm a more strength, strengthy boy. Look at the range. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm obviously going to go back to my longsword. But sort of the way that I'm thinking about how I'm going to be leveling up is if you look at my uh, um, bolstering materials, I have a lot of smithing stone ones. And I don't have as many of these bigger ones. I don't know what the somber smithing stone is. This is reinforced up to six, so I need some more smithing stone threes to get my longsword leveled up. I'm going to be upping my longsword, but I think that this game is already giving enough um, crafting materials for me to pick a second weapon that I want to start leveling up. Alright, so last thing I wanted to do before I keep going through... <laughs> Thank you, Brett. <laughs> Like the deal, let me tell you. Britt and I, we both we both have stuff that we need to do today, like extremely important things. Like I have to play Elden Ring, okay? Like that's really critical. 
And this cat, let me tell you, has enough lung power to distract all humans in the building. She's just like, meow, I want tummy rubs. It's like so irrelevant. It's not important stuff like playing Elden Ring all day. You know what I mean? It's like so unreasonable of her. <laughs> Jeez, Bunny, would you like to know something somber smithing stones do? You know what, Jeeves Bunny, because you asked, yes, I do. I would love to know that. Oh, oops. And let me just get behind the heel. Oh, I think I learned that this is the wrong way to go through this. Because then I think I alert, like, everybody. Jesus, when says they upgrade specific unique weapons, some boss weapons, and all regular smithing stones do. Oh, that's terrific. Uh-oh. Special talisman that heals whenever I backstab. Okay. Alright, nice. So we still have eight flasks. Let's see, there's the guy that hangs out here that I've awoken. I think there's still another one up here. Stamina gaming, stamina gaming. I want to have so much stamina, it's it's alarming. How much healing do we do in backstab? Not a lot. Sanhedrin, yes, I do have deep Elden Ring commitment. Eats Metal says, hey, Sean, first I have to thank you for the series of Elden Ring. This helped me kill the hours in the middle of the night when my five weeks old son doesn't want to sleep. Oh, <laughs> that's so... Uh, Streaming, I actually think, is the panacea to late nights as a parent, man. That is, that like, I endlessly hear this story told, uh, both to me and to other broadcasters. So, I am over the moon to help with the child room. So, but I have two questions since I missed some details. One, what happened to the big blue sword? And two, did you already fight and beat the huge bear? Um, I have uh, fought and beat several huge bears, and the blue sword is something called an Ash of War. So you can see here, this little symbol here, the big blue sword uh, is the R2 trigger, but I swapped it out for a simpler, faster one, which is this stomp. So let's go ahead and equip... He doesn't want to actually have that one. What's this? Is there some sort of defensive thing? Let's replace this. I'm just going to replace it with the Radagon Scar Seal. So, it's his blast and attack. Oh, wait. Oh, sick. Oh shit, oh fuck. I thought I was out of range. Oh fuck! Okay, I'm never getting on that stupid fucking horse again. <laughs> never, ever, 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 ever. 
there's a steak of America? What? Where is the steak? I fought this guy like five times yesterday. I wonder why I didn't proc this before. Oh, but then the problem is I can't run back this way. Oh. Dude, my, my cash is going to be out forever. Oh, that's a way slower attack than I thought. I don't really care if I lose these souls. Okay. I really got it. I, I tried doing heavy attacks that time. This cat is being so bad. Despy, meanwhile, is absolutely tripping on Catman. So, um, I was trying to use my heavy attack, but I mean, I just... Heavy attacks always feel very suspect when the range is pretty similar. Dude, by the way, this, this is kind of a funny thing, which is that there's this seeming line in my hair because these hairs up here are like very brown and then it's just like a sharp line of gray <laughs> and it always creates this optical illusion when i glance that actually looks like i have this one really long strand of hair that goes all the way back <laughs> all right here we go oh my god i hit jump <laughs> like crazy. Man, I keep getting hit by that. Will this break through that barrel, maybe? Yeah. Ring around the rosy. This was the easier way to do it all along. Well, I mean, certainly with the stake of America. All right, let's regain our stamina. Walk right up. Oh, I thought I had enough time to roll. Okay. That that swing is really really intense. R&D Bones' game, it reminds me most of his Morrowind. Yeah, I haven't felt this way about an open world game since then. Yeah, like, Morrowind's a really magical game. Because in Morrowind, you also didn't really have quest markers or a robust map. I think it was due to technological limitations. But it gave a real feel that you needed to remember what was going on. You had, like, a journal. It would have text written out. It's like, I made my way west. Or wherever the hell it's called. Oh, ho ho! <laughs> I almost just died right away. Let's see if I can trigger another swing. Oh shit. Oh, I thought I rolled. Alright, whatever. Spherical says, what is stake of America? It is the option. The stake of Marika or Last Sight of Grace visited. I'm not saying the stake of America. I'm referencing the in-game thing. I don't even like talking about our country. Are you kidding me? But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of really interesting innovations in games that have come out of the technological limitations. 
So for instance, where do levels come from? Not as in level one, level two, like I'm leveling up and becoming more powerful. Why can I not hit you? Ah, oh, shit. My timing is just really mediocre today. It's fine. You know, it's actually so funny. I am dying more to this guy. Like, I'm dying faster to him than when I was taking the long run. <laughs> All right. There we go. See, now I'm backing away, you know. Then run away. It's not that complicated. Oh, fuck. This is so complicated. not that alarmingly hard to get the patterns for. It's just the dodging of these things, where you're running side to side to try to avoid them. And then that happens. You you run into an ob obstacle. And that's where I was dying a lot yesterday. Tree Guardian that we were up against. Alright. The first Air Tree Guardian that we fought against, it was no problem. We actually one shot at it. Yeah, I actually kind of want to go all the way around and break, break the pots. Because that's the biggest enemy, is the pots. And also, uh, at the end, I tried to go off. Um go off of lock-in, and I think I should never do that. Oh my god, the Becca Scott has raided us. Becca, 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 Becca. What a treat to see it. Ah, 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 ah. Becca, it has been... Oh shit, I hit the wrong button. Becca, we might be dying here. I want you to know it's not your fault. I take responsibility in full on my own. In fact, I have more to say to you, but I'm I'm slightly hit in the face right now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Hell. Oh my god. All right. Oh, that was the wrong move. Okay, that was the wrong move as well. Have a drink. See, that's the move I thought the, the guy was doing. Ugh. Oh. Oh, you can do this when I'm next to you? Ugh. 
Ah! See, it's so hard to run away from this when there's a lot of obstacles here. Big swings. Oh no, not that. Have a drink. Ah! Uh, Ugh. Trying as hard as I can. All right. Just do not throw more darts at me. Do a big swing. I can dodge big swings. Ugh. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. All right. Becca! Wonderful to see you. The amazing Becca Scott. For any of you who have not looked at Becca Scott, does an amazing set of board game reviews, hosty work in Magic the Gathering, and all around fantastic human being. My god, the pandemic is nearly done, Becca. Nearly. Socialization can happen again soon. Well, to any of you who are joining, welcome! It's lovely to see you all. I hope you're having a fine and grandy dandy day. I, despite what it might look like, am having the time of my life. This game is so good. I cannot believe how good this game is. This boss has been giving us a bit of a pickle. This is the real issue with this boss. He, he does this stomp that sends out Gak. And then the Gak deals an insane amount of damage. So I have to run away from him. But then when I run away, he then does his uh, yellow dart move. Nice reference to Strong Bad there. And that is where I have probably died 90% of the time. Is through this little loop. Oops. Oh, God. Prop Chaotic, uh, you know... Oops, I banned you. I meant to time out you. Um, just general note on backseating. Please don't spoil for me solutions for how to beat bosses. Um, because you're taking away my fun. Again, like, so, uh, what happened is Prof Chaotic in chat said, if you walk behind him, you can avoid the rot. That, to me, took a huge amount of my fun away. Because it's the equivalent of picking up my crossword puzzle and filling it out and handing it back to me going, there you go, I saw you struggling and I want to just help you out a little bit. The joy is not in having the solution. The joy is in figuring out the solution. If you know what I mean. See, this one messes with me, this attack sequence, because he has a similar looking animation to the other ones. See, let's, well. Yeah, look at that. You can actually see in the background that the rot doesn't go to that side. Oops. Oh, I thought I was far enough away as to not trigger damage. All I'm doing is rolling and drinking. All right, I just <laughs> didn't have the right timing. I think I need to go to the right every time. Because this is hard to see. Camera sold. Very lucky there. Let's see if I can just have him knock out some pots over here. This, this is the bad side. This is where the bad stuff happens. Sunny side is where we gotta be. Hello. Bye.
See, it's the swing attacks that I'm like, oh yeah, more please. Run away, run away. Dude, I'm gonna play so cheesy here. I, mean, I, I could come back. What are the issues that I'm, I'm having with this boss specifically? Oh shit. I'm not fighting over here, are you joking me? Not a chance. One of the issues I'm having with this boss is that one of his hits almost one-shots me. So if I take almost any damage at all, I have to immediately use a potion. Run away! Like if one of those lights hit me, or rots or whatever the effect is, if that hits me, I basically have to use a, uh, a potion. Even if I'm only down like a third of my health. Cheesing nine. Dude, we're doing it. We're ring around the rosy. Dude, I'm telling you, I, I think that, like, I have found my bad side, and I'm just not fighting him. Unless he's out in the open here. <laughs> here we go. Ooh, I almost missed that timing. Run away! Run away! Now, just because we're doing good doesn't mean I can't get one shot by his golden boogers. Ah! <laughs> Salty Steve, this is exactly how I beat the guy. Hell yeah. Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Come to me. Stop crouching. All right. Almost missed that. Uh-oh. Stand up, you fucking idiot. <laughs> we have found a very boring, very successful strategy. I'm gonna fight him. No, I'm not. I'm getting the fuck out of here. The claw grip is so unhealthy on the human hand. But my god, we're claw gripping the shit out of this. <laughs> L3 is the worst button in the game. Off made the whole boss arena. I'm gonna use the same whole boss arena. Green burst crystal tier, flame shroud and crack tier. Okay, flame shroud and crack tier. All right. That's how it's done. Everyone from the Becca Scotts stream. First try too. That's the kind of quality we deliver here on Day Nine TV. <laughs> Holy fuckamoly. It's a cracked pot. I think that I, once I get a little bit more stuff explored, I want to start checking out the pots. All them tears, no Sean tears. That's right. 
Day 9. Genuine Genius. Now, funny story. I actually wound up emerging from the deep Siofra well. Oh, I thought this was called Sofria. I've been mispronouncing it. Siofra well. Uh, I exited here, and there's actually, you can barely see it right here. There's like a, a valley that connects across like this. And I actually was able to spawn over there, kill that guy, and there's the Great Jar that has three warriors in front. Toxic Mushroom. Look, it's you. Can you rebind it in the Elden Ring? I think I looked, and it's like, cool, what do you want to rebind it to? And I, like, literally could not think of a single button on the controller that was not already occupied. Oh, shit, no way. I haven't been in one of these in a minute. You can switch lock-on and crouch. I use lock-on a, a lot, though. I don't think there's anything else really noteworthy over here. Ha <laughs> ha, Rachel Avedana. When is a door not a door? When it's a jar. Ha! Huh? Has someone... Can you match binds, like R1 and X? I don't know. You know, I'm not even going to try to figure it out because it only happens when my butt is clenching and it, this is just never going to happen anymore because I've learned how to control myself. So I just don't think that's an issue. I don't think the idea of me accidentally crouching is ever going to happen again and I'm actually offended that you're still sitting there not believing me. I can sense it. It's literally written all over your face that I can't see. You have no idea how strong of control I have over my glutes. All right, use it. You know, day nine, I heard he's never clenched his butt since the Erd Tree fight. You select it. And Margaret says, did you know the map allows you to mark off areas that you've completed? No. But I don't need to do that, because my mind is like a steel trap. Nothing's ever left it. It enters into my brain. An elephant never forgets. Real Gamer says you can unbind it, at least on PC. Uh, I mean... We're on, we're on a... Unfortunately, we're on a PS5. Oh, God. Let me get my shield out. Shields are good for catacombs. I don't know if Aries says, Oh no, Day 9's in an overconfident spiral. Do you have no idea how confident I am? You don't even know what confidence is until you've seen Day 9. Okay. All right. Uh, a classic move in this game. Please, game. Please, you think I didn't know? So I mean, I I can almost certainly go down there, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for that. Oh crap! This little bastard. Oh. I detected what the game was trying to pull on me. Get me out of here. I'm gonna very send the elevator back up for when you die, pro game removed. Yeah, it's actually kind of funny because Sending the elevator back up for when you die is such like a, I'm definitely going to die a billion times kind of thing. And I sent it up, and I looked, and you can actually drop down underneath there, and that way I look double cool. I hate to say it, but I was sending it back for when I die. <laughs> well, yeah, that was pretty sweet. Dude, oh my gosh, I'm just so good. Oh my god. Oh, poor Prof Chaotic. Prof Chaotic says, My bad, please forgive me, you did great, by the way. Prof Chaotic have no 
guilt or concern at all, it's so sweet for you to follow up. Um, and, you know, I, w I just want to note something. We, our general policy here at Day 9 TV is to go on the extreme end of correction and then apologize and back off and make it right first, as opposed to, um, let me just give you the example of what I mean. You posted a spoiler, a ultra light spoiler, but a small bit of a spoiler. So what do I do? I'm going to issue the timeout and then spend some time talking about it because there's a chat delay. What if you didn't see that? What if someone else saw your message and believed, oh, hey, it's like a good idea to start posting these. It immediately communicates to all these other people and to you that there's a certain behavior that we want to stop. And normally what happens is we issue uh, shorter timeouts than a 10 minute one. But I was in the middle of playing Elden Ring, so I just clicked the button and then quickly went back. So <laughs> I didn't use the options. Um, we always want to err on that side. And then it also gives me the chance to sort of explain everyone what's happening. So uh, that's very sweet of you. Be like, my bad. Don't you worry about it. It just goes to show that you just can't help but be... It's a lot of noise. Just shows that you can't help but be compelled, you know what I mean? Can't help but be compelled by this incredible content. Day 9, I need to help you. I know, I know, I know, I know there's a heavy door that's going open somewhere. Dark Hollis is the only thing I'm being compelled by is your stunning good looks. Oh, yeah. Is that a very sexy way to say the gameplay is shit? <laughs> or on a date, I'm like, do you find my storytelling compelling? The only thing I find compelling, Sean, is your good looks. And I'm like, oh, fuck, my storytelling sucks, dicks. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Take me home. Take me home right now. I literally don't have this much time in my life to be self-conscious anymore. Oh, it's sack babies. Sure. so fucking much. Alright. Uh, uh. Um, alright. Alright, change of plans. Got a butterfly. All right, there was a very long message that I wanted to read. I'm gonna have no time for that. Ah! 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 I have no time for that. I, I'm busy running away very, very bravely. Stumble upon you looking up VODs for Storybook Brawl. Oh, hell yeah. In fact, we're doing another Storybook Brawl stream soon. So our input on the Frost Giant Games subreddit, and you've been my, and you've since been my favorite streamer. Interjection, I've never actually, I haven't posted on Reddit in like five years. <laughs> Maybe it was a summary of something I said linked to that. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully so. Or if there's an imposter out there who's behaving as me and causing you to think that I'm your favorite streamer now, then I welcome the deception. This is a game developer and someone that studies rhetoric and philosophy. I love your content, the way you carry your statements. I have your website as my Chrome homepage. No way! And you're the only streamer I've ever actually cared to make sure I tune into live, keep the content up. Oh my god, that's actually so amazing. That's so wonderful. Oh, it was someone linking. Ah, damn. I want to think that I have an imposter, because that makes you really famous. 
Like the instant someone's creating a Tinder profile and uploading my pics and being like, I'm day nine, you should date me. Oh my God, that would be a dream come true. But I'm, that's so sweet of you to say. That's all very sweet of you to say. Because um, dude, Astrodax, sometimes I'm talking and 30 minutes has gone by and I, I don't remember what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> I don't remember at all. I was just like, oh shit, I hope this is making some semblance of sense. Alright, so let's let's go back here. I mathed it, just gifting us some suberoni suberinos. Okay, let's go to the status. Uh, let's see here. Various poisons and rot. I think that that's rot. Blood loss and frostbite, sleep and bouts of madness, resistance to death. Okay, so I need to increase my immunity. Okay, let's get this. You hear that guy oozing his way forward. Holy shit. Dude, look at me. I look silly. Look at this. Fashion souls. Yes! Beans, your pal beetle face. That's enough of that shit. Ooh, that's nice. Ah! Look at the slowness of the buildup. Okay, get me the fuck out of here. Don't laugh, I'm resisting poison. You're being so mean to me right now. Oh my god, hi guys. Where there are baby crablars, there's big mama crablars. Should we present day nine with a sock? What does that mean? That sounds so foul. It sounds like the foulest thing you could ever say. Son, we're grad glad you graduated high school. We've decided to give you one sock. If you don't tell us, we won't ask. Oh, Harry Potter reference? Oh! 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 Do you want a sock? That's a reference to Dobby. Oh! 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 Not like gifting an adolescent man a sock. Oh, wow. Wow, do I look a little bit appalling. Well, all right. Well. <laughs> See, it wasn't disgusting at all. All right. This is this is just a really nice touch where they like make these look like statues. Yeah, it's really nice. Tangerine 68 says, well, we somehow sexualized Dobby. Oh, there's not a single thing in Harry Potter that hasn't been deeply and appallingly sexualized. Come on, let's be honest. Let's be adults about this. Okay? What? Oh, 
Dude, that's so much fucking poise. Are you kidding me? Do you see how much... I mean, it's the heaviest thing I've ever put on my head, but, like, look look at the damage resistance numbers. The poise is incredible. Oh, what? Oh, I'm being set on fire! Alright, well, that's bad news. So this is, this is where I, I was just underneath here, huh? Sac... My sacramental buddy. My sacramental bud. I'm entirely sure where that is, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I've been there. Am I entering from this way? Nothing more up here. Where is he? So I'm gonna actually go back this way. Hope someone cosplays this hat. Ugh. You guys remember in Dark Crystal the Gartham? Gotham! Clickety clickety clackety clackety. <laughs> Wait. This is actually. I'm actually under where we were before. See, this is. This is. Oh, fucking hell. actually behoove me to go back out the other way then. I, I really don't want to fight those little Uzi babies. Plus need to let my rot... Wait, what's what's happening to me? Why, why is my rot building up? Wait, what the hell is going on here? Uh... Roll and rot, you get rot? No way, I'm rotted. Alright, we're sitting there, we're sitting there. Use the soap. Never! I'm a dirty man to the end. Oh, I'm so gross. Oh... Should be better, Ecstasy. Should be better. Alright, so now it's going away. So I believe what happened is that I rolled in the rot, and it covered my, my tiny body. That's where this guy is. Okay, perfect. So I am... I'm understanding this correctly. So if I drop down here, here's where I was exploring. Nice. Sure, why not? Let's traverse the mist. Let's find out what we're against. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, please. Oh, 
bum, 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 bum. Okay. All right. Let's go to the stake of America. All right. There's a stake of America here. Wait, 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 what? Stand. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at this pro gamer Dark Souls move. I need to go back to my uh, big defense build. Oh, yeah, I don't have my shield up. So JD says, yeah, I ran this over the weekend. Stake of America is bugged. <laughs> it's not actually bugged. It's just the way the game works, you know? I'm just looking for biggest physical resistance reduction. I mean, my initial greaves are like so good. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. <laughs> he used his way in. Sword and a board. You know it, baby. Right, you have that long. <laughs> okay. Okay, alright. You know, I, I, I kind of feel like I don't give a shit. I kind of feel like I might not at all give even the slightest bit of shit. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting the fuck out. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna do this. Dude, I'm Humix. Says that's the most common reaction to this dungeon slash boss slash stake America from what I've seen, and that was mine too. You babies have no idea what a far run to a boss is until you've played Demon Souls. You have no idea. So, for comparison, let's call, let's call Limgrave, let's call all of Limgrave a zone, right? Let's call the entire Weeping Peninsula a second zone, and let's call Kalid, this red area, let's call it a third zone. Demon Souls is one bonfire per zone. Like, there are some insane distances. So when I saw that, it's mostly me going, ooh, I can't wait to go see what's up with Caleb. Oh, what a beautiful intro. Are these monsters? Is this just Smolder? Be another herb tree like way over here. He 
Eha standing on the wall. That looks like a character. Less like an enemy, though it could be an enemy. You're smoldering now. Ooh. Oops. Let's see if that thing that I picked up was a... It's not. It's rotting. Everything rotting scarlet. The very earth that Caleb rests upon. And Celia, town of sorcery. The end is nigh for us all. Ah, yes. The end is nigh. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I believe that that was originally popularized in Watchmen, that phrase. I believe. And I mean, literally, the sentence, the end is nigh. Is, yeah, there you go. Jones, the Dear Day Nine, are stamina and poise related? Not at all. <laughs> and uh, as far as I can tell, poise seems to be less poisy in this game than in others. Um, you know, I feel like I was in the middle of a train of thought, and I forgot it. And I cannot remember. Well, you know, what can you do? Oh yeah, I love rolling into boxes. Ball says, what, the end is nigh? I feel like that's been around forever. Um, having it be, like, a really significant, relevant component to a story in uh, fantasy and sci-fi fiction. Maybe I'm just seeing two points and drawing a line. Hey, guys. Yeah. Holy fuck! These guys deal some damage, man. Alright, I'm just literally not interacting with these at all. Dude, let me tell you, we are not doing a lot of combat in this game today. How I interact on Reddit. Yeah, I open up the thread and I'm like, oh my god, fuck! And I get out of here. Oh, there was something that I wanted to do. I believe that I have some. Yeah, I have some of these. And I did want to go all the way back to the tutorial area. Full set of moves. Oh, shit. You know what? I'm going to use my flask of wondrous physic. For Tata Fan, is it po ask if it's possible to, like, do a bad build and get kind of soft locked out of content? I mean, open world games, there's a mental model that's intuitive in open world games that happens to carry into this one. Which is, oh, hey, I feel like I'm weak. Let me go farm. There are games where that, that doesn't actually feel true. It feels like you should do something completely different. So, for instance, um... 
frankly, the original Dark Souls, it, it was not clear that you should be farming souls. The game kind of presents itself as get good at this linear sequence, and as you're trying, you will slowly accumulate souls. But I mean, most of the people that I know that played through Dark Souls 1 at no point were they like, all right, I'm just going to go farm souls here for a little bit. Big, man. Dude, I love that. Oh, shit. Oh, not an NPC. Actually a weird monster. Oh! Oh, I see why they got forsaken. I did not feel like we were going to be getting out of this one alive. Holy fucking shit, these things are incredibly strong. Okay, I don't care. I don't think I'm strong enough for this area, dude. You know what? Where is the last? Where is the last side of Grace Visited, huh? Yeah, let's let's rewind, shall we? Let us rewind. Let us rewind. Oh my god. You know, Kaylin feels like first time you get to Blighttown. You know what I mean? Feels pretty good. Mm -mm -mm. Um, the Pontus says, how do you feel about the lack of ember slash humanity? I feel amazing about it. I think that was a mechanic that didn't actually really need to be in the game. Will this, will this fall actually kill me? Okay. Jay Meloso, I'm going to time you out. Again, Jay Meloso, please, please do not spoil what's going to happen in Caleb for me. Jay Meloso says, if you really, really try hard, Caleb, you can get some really big power spikes if you dare to try. Like, please, please don't spoil content for me. Please don't spoil content for me, man. I, I mean, I'm just going to, again, kind of like... Put the foot down. I mean, that that's a pretty substantial spoiler that you just said. Completely upends my motivational structure when playing the game.
What's that? And again, for anyone who's like, like Bobag, I see saying, he says it so many times, guys. It's not hard. Again, this might have been Jay Meloso's very, very first entry into this stream uh, since we started playing Elden Ring. See, I, right now in this game, I'm you. And this, that's the ban hammer right there. Alright. I think I just hit 50. Oh my god. That scared the shit out of me. That scared the shit out of me. A sunder strength just gifted us 20 subs. 20 subaronis. So is usually a YouTuber. But I've been for a while. She got the news that I don't have a genetic marker for the neurological disorder that killed my mom and aunt. Oh my god, what a relief. He's Sunder Strength says, This community's positivity really helped me through the last couple years. We've had to face this thing more head on and wanted to thank you for what you did. That's incredible, wonderful news. Oh my god, I can't even imagine how much relief that must be. Providing. Sorry, it got me right. It got me right in the gladiator scene right there. Uh, you know, this is a genuinely maybe do a spit take. Yeah, no, it, it actually like startled me. I kind of jumped, as you saw. So I'm gonna sit here and wait for this to go away. But oh, that's wonderful news. Sound or strength. I actually have a friend that had a very similar thing. Very similar thing happened, where it was just like, well, I might have a horrible life-threatening disease. Basically, it's a, I don't know the official term for it, but it's like condition. And that is truly fantastic news. That is fantastic news. You know, I, I, I feel like no one ever really explains that when you're having, like, a medical issue. Oh, shit. No one ever explains how much of the time is spent just 
sitting, being in a mix of... Ah! Oh, fucking Jesus Christ! How much time is spent just being, like, out of control, bored. And just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Oh, it's just the worst. Oh, what? I can't even imagine what that... Finally having a... Alright. Okay. It's not a special passage. <laughs> but I got those golden runes and it's like, not a deal. Ooh, this is a good, this is a good zone. Never had a doubt. Never had a doubt. Please open the map. I haven't discovered this place myself. Dude, that Chung, you're gonna laugh. I'm in the starting area. Right here. Stranded graveyard. Your dog says, pay attention to me, Day9. I can't tell if it's because you asked a question and I missed it, or because you're trolling and that's hilarious. Oh! This is actually how I get down here. Oh, is this worth that someone filter chat for you? No, no, no. Like, like, spoilers have not really been that much of an issue. They really haven't been. I mean, I see where I believe is an outcropping. See, it's right there. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, my God. All right, I actually think... I think I see what I need to do, though. I think I see what I need to do. I think I see what I need to do. All right. So, by the way, this is, if this is the way I think it is, then this is a great puzzle design. All right, so what I think happens is that I actually secretly need to fall down. I need to fall in such a way I think this is a little bit far. Yeah, I think this is the solution. So, I need to wait for this to make its journey back up this way, and then I run like a psychopath down that way. That's what I think.
shit. Ah, fuck. It's an outcrow! It's, it's gonna come get me! Oh, fuck! Fuck! Fuck, I turned! I panicked. All right, I'm gonna get some water and some coffee, but there, there's this really nice quality to a, a good puzzle, which is you start to solve the puzzle, and what happens is that you hit on a impossibility. So for me, it would be like walking up and following this weird rotator, rotato potato guy. I'm trying to like go in the alcove, go out, go in the alcove, go out. So first, what the puzzle does is it trains you to go in the alcove, run out, go in the alcove. And you do that, and then it doesn't work. And uh, I can't remember what this is called. I think it's like, I've heard this called the catch. That in a puzzle, like step one is, here is a situation, here's the problem. Here's a way to start solving the problem. And the puzzle gives you success with that naive way. But the naive way will lead to a catch as opposed to leading to the solution. And the catch is where you have to reevaluate everything. And this is like case in point. Of Did you know I can't fall from that height? Heck, of Majestic said, "Dang it!" I I logged out of Elden Ring earlier in a huff, and now I'm going back in. Oh yeah. I actually realized I don't need to wait for my poison to go back down. Haha! <laughs> Alright, does 1580 damage, that's good to know. So do I want to go left or right? Let's try left. I even go right. Nope, let's go left and left. Oh, you can fall off right here. Okay. So I just dumped off the wrong side, huh?
I don't know if it's that it, like, didn't see me, so I'm safe for good. Oh, golly gee, you found me. Yeah, guys, I know about rainbow stones to test heights. I know about it. Again, if you if you want to give a suggestion, generally speaking, I just I just I either probably know about it or want to play the game. Get in the fucking thing! Yay, middlings of soul. Okay, all right. Oh, but I, there's the Stake America. But there's there's another path that I didn't go up that I think is super relevant. Oh my god, what are you? Ulcerated Tree Spirit. Oh, it's you! I fought one of these already. down like a fool. I'm pretty curious this is the second one of these that I've fought. That's why I, I have real familiarity with the patterns on this. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh. I hate to say it, but I need to go back in. Sir says, where'd you fight the first one of those? I fought one as well, but I was wondering how many there may be. Yeah, yeah. Great. See, I, there, that's how we ask the fall questions. Uh, I fought it right here. 
it says the Stormvale Castle cliffside. Yeah, or it is somewhere in this general area. And dude, these kinds of conversations are the ones that like I have had with so many of my friends. Where it's just like, hey, did you go this way? Like, oh yeah, no, I went that way. And you fought this thing? Fought what thing? Oh, that's not the only passage there. Wait, what? Oh my God. Now, the thing is that I'm just too interested. I'm just too interested. Wonder Boss is honest question for veterans here. It's easy to tell when a boss just needs extra attempts versus maybe needing to level up. I would say the biggest signal of it is that you get one shot. I see how this works. So, the, the typical way to go is to fall off down here, apparently, and land. But if I go this way, I can discover that there's secretly a path up here. My, my, my mate. So now I'm going to discover this second half of this area. the poisonous pool at the park at the start dude i mathed it why not have a poisonous pool at the start come on we're from song there is no mechanic that miyazaki loves more than poisonous swamps and i don't actually mean that as a joke i mean he uh where there was that article where he uh i mean i thought it was a joke article where he's like ah working on elden ring brought back my wondrous joy of designing poisonous swamps that was like a fucking hilarious thing to say. Would you look at this? What is this? Oh shit. you don't succeed, just keep doing the same shit forever. I'm curious about what the right way to approach this guy is. Maybe... I was trying to do the swingbacks. 
All right, dude, that's that's actually pretty sick. That's actually pretty sick. Well, Bex, is anyone here super good with electrical theory? I have a question. Dude, hit me with it. Hit me with it. I you know what? That literally sounds made up when you when you call it electrical theory. I mean, I know it's not, but it sounds so funny. Anyone here a god of electrical theory? Art school in Chicago, and I saw a weird art movie where she said water can transmit data. I assumed it was artsy bullshit. Uh. No. I mean, that's, that's true. So the thing is that, like, it depends on what you mean by data. Because basically, the idea of um, signal processing is that if I can... Where's that? Right here, is it? Please, Krim. So, like, the idea of data is the idea of a signal with a consistent type of interpretation. So, what I mean by that is, like, for instance, Morse code. If you were just splashing water and using Morse code... You could be transmitting data over that water. So technically, hey, we're using the water and the pattern of the waves. Oops. Fear stops. So, like... That was... 168! Ugh, hooray! Dragon Communion Seal. Sick. Dragonwood. Please. So, like, when it comes to... Um... Um electrical signals. Like, literally, you're just processing like, you know, amplitude and voltage and shit. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, I have some mediocre... I, like, things that, like, I, I studied math, so I know much more about the mathematical side. You know, like, Fourier transforms and signal processing and stuff like that. Um, I know much less about what is the proper way to describe signals and what they're doing. All right, so this is this is actually fantastic. I'm, I'm gonna consider myself done with this area. There's still the monster that is right over here in this lake. But bo boy, do I wish I knew how to get to over there. I'm gonna go to somewhere a little quieter. Something like Rock View Balcony. Jesus, this is miserable here, huh? Hooray. 
So, we have some options. Um, but, I mean, if someone's like, water can transmit data, I'd be like, tell me more about what you mean. It's like, if you're running an electrical current, just in a pool of water, you could technically pick up the signal from that current, I think. Doesn't seem unreasonable. It's also, there's, there's huge conflation between terms. Like, a digital signal, lots of things are technically just electromagnetic signals. But we call electricity different from TV signal. Like, analog versus digital versus electrical, like, are used more in different colloquial ways. And... I don't actually know the, um, proper, ultra-robust way to use those language, those language bits, if we're talking about a professional setting. Let's be more colloquially. Where do we want to go today? Also, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to mute. I need to mute whenever I chonk. So I am actually curious to get to here. I'm going to follow along with my road. My miserable road. This area with that little pit down there. I even need some stone sword keys. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this. But I don't think I'm strong enough for this yet. I remember what I was saying earlier. Yeah, Miyazaki was talking about how designing Elden Ring brought back his joy of designing poisonous swamps and poisonous areas. By the way, really nice little subtle bit. This is the mouth of a skull, and here's the chest. Of a giant being. Same thing with the skull over here. It's just really beautiful. And the thing is, you know, for as much as people are just like, oh god, Blight Town, oh god, Caleb, you know, stuff like this. Here, there's a point that I want to make. Right. There's a point that I want to make. It has to do with people's comments about difficulty in the Souls games. So, certain types... Ooh, I'm not going for that thing for a little bit. Certain types of pain and obstacle and challenge that someone faces are important because it enriches your experience and understanding of various moves, various abilities, various things in the game. So, for instance... The fact that this is a stab, and this is a swipe, that's one difference. This happens to deal more damage and be slower. This happens to deal less damage and be faster. But again, the fact that it's a horizontal swipe versus a vertical thrust doesn't matter unless the game makes it matter. For instance, if you are in like tight corridors and you try to use your swipe, That'll happen. You'll go, Ugh, and it'll interrupt your attack. Whereas if you're in a tight corridor and you use a thrust, that won't happen. Why would that matter? Well, the game has to make me care. If the game didn't make me care, then all of a sudden, everything sucks because nothing matters and nothing is interesting anymore. So, like, when I first hopped into playing this game, you saw me be like, oh, yeah, blot, blot and write. Let me try that again. Uh, blight and rot. Yeah, 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 whatever. What? Well, I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. And then you know what happened? I crossed that fucking bridge. <laughs> like, I started walking into rot and poison, and I started being like, oh shit, oh Jesus, oh fuck, oh shit.
Jesus, these things are fucking terrifying. And I think that this is one thing that's really nice about making it like a full zone. Is that this is the poison zone, man. This is where everything is about rot, everything's about poison, everything is about pain. And what it does is it just makes you care about that a little bit. Let's see if I can get one to see me. So I think if I hit it in the head... I think that the fact that it is... So let me actually make this whirl. Oh, flame! I should actually look at some of these items. Yeah, like, um, imagine that there was a physical damage system and a magical spell casting system, and there was an area where units were just immune to physical damage. So you have to learn the magical damage interaction. You have to learn that. If you don't, you're screwed. But by creating a sort of zone where it's like, Hi, welcome to the magic damage zone. I think it is that I need to hit them in the head. Six, so maybe maybe a jump whack like this. And so again, if there's a physical damage only area where you learn your basic physical moves, and there's a magic damage only area, which makes you learn your magical moves, then they can sort of like combine them together later. But I mean, frankly, even if they don't wind up combining these, oh, it's a fucking raven. Even if they don't wind up combining these, the fact that this was like a very different zone where I was constantly worried about my blight slash rot slash poison. Nashian's just gifted five subs and said, I beat the game so I can finally watch. N Dude, Nashian. How amazing was it? And thanks for the support, Nashian. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, it's a, dear day. A, a kind of viewer texted me at PM with a spoiler that he didn't want you to post. I think it's something maybe you should know. Yeah, in that case, I mean, sure, sure, yeah. If you think I should know it, let's hit me with it. Entirely sure what crits him. Entirely sure what crits him. Ashen says it was amazing. Yeah. Can you explain what that rune does in the top left and how did it get there? Uh, which which rune? Oh, this thing. This thing. I mean, uh, Navarius, if you're playing this game, I'm not gonna tell you because it's really good. I mean, it's fucking really good, so I'm not going to tell you. Oh, hi. You might think that you're a soldier, but really, you're hell. Ow, fuck me. Now that's a good touch.
I don't know if this is a boss or not. Hey, excuse me. Holy shit. I'm never doing a jump attack in the middle of a fight again. Alright. I'm going to do a counter attack. Dude, I love it. It's just, it, it just yells at me. Where am I? Where's my orientation? Get close and we'll do a triple pack. Uh oh. I think that was a throw. Oh, come on. I'm getting greedy. I'm trying to do the finisher, the classic finisher, where they're really low on health, and you're like, just one more swing. Like right there, I did it again. Die. Oh. Holy shit, that guy gives souls. Friends, the spoiler wasn't worth the spoiling after all. Yay! <laughs> yeah, dude. Look at the masses. Feels like day nine loves stabbing things in the groin. Nothing makes me happier. I was gonna mention a UI feature that might clean up your item slot. I mean, you can try. We're talking about this pouch thing. Um, I, I just prefer to hit the down button. Let's see if we can take out this guy. Let's see if we can take out this guy. This is incredible design. It's like a wolf mouse dinosaur. Nice. Having a sip. All right. 
and we get a... A... Oh my god, a great sword. Yeah, oh hell yeah. Where's my great swords at? So we don't quite have enough strength. Grafted blade, great sword. Oh, this actually requires even more... More stats. So again, I want to note that we are kind of increasingly getting to a point where we may consider getting a second weapon. Not not probably for another 10 hours at least. But we're just accumulating enough materials that we're just sort of keeping it on the brain. So for any of you who are curious, this is the area we went through, we came up through before. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. So, all right. Let me let me walk away. And by the way, I've been talking a lot about mental models and how this game has a very unusual and unique one. I think the perfect example is the idea of when do I use which weapon? Because in a lot of RPGs, you're constantly getting better and better and better and better equipment. Yeah, most RPGs have you constantly getting better and better and better equipment, and you're supposed to be, like, climbing up that trajectory of stuff. But this game is like, yeah, no, if you like the longsword, just use the longsword, man. How many souls do I have? Not enough. And that's, like, weird. That's, like, really weird that I would be collecting all these things and debating between which one I want to spend the entire game playing with. Like, that's, like, insane. So I want to make sure I get to here. And then I want to get to here. Let me just check a message that's coming. Make sure everything's good. All right. Eat that for eight hours. All right, here we go. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just so strange that you would be playing a game where it's like, oh, yeah, I played all of Dark Souls 1 literally only using the short sword. <laughs> like, that sounds dumb. Oh, you're bad, guy. Got it, got it, got it. All right. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right. Hey, by the way, did anyone else get affected by the Discord outage this morning? Let me tell you, now my Discord is just exploding. It's just insane. Oh my god, some Lufus says these guys are having a blast. I keep, like, not finishing my points. Because I hate finishing points. Yeah, like, it's so weird to play a game where you would just use one weapon for the entire game. You know what games are like that? Which are competitive games. Like in StarCraft 1, I played Zerg. And most of what you're doing is making the exact same four units. Lings, Hydras, Mutas, and Lurkers. That's like most of the game. And then I upgraded my Lings, Hydras, Mutas, and Lurkers. And then I took an expansion and I built more hatches so I could make more Lings, Hydras, Mutas, and Lurkers. <laughs> it was crazy. I mean, it was fucking crazy. Oh, 
Uh, the file is to make our testes race. No, I mean, you, you made those for sure. But again, you mainly made the other four. Same way that you'd occasionally make some scourge. Uh-oh. Coco Brain says, I think I'm stuck on the I'll find a better weapon idea from the old Dark Souls and can't bring myself to upgrade my starting swords to make the game harder for myself. Well, I would encourage you to because I've been non-stop upgrading this one. And look at this. Look, I have so many extra crafting materials. I have 26 smithing stone ones. And this is, I think, a really nice design improvement in this game because you're spending tons of time wandering through and just, frankly, kind of messing around. There's just incidentally so freaking many more items and things that you get. What? What? I even kill this? Alright, well, it's time to run away from that thing. I think, uh, I think that the whole, like, only use one weapon for everything can be, like, incredibly confusing and misleading. I'm gonna go around the outside, because I really want to see what's up over here. Climb up the corpse. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to deal extra damage to that. Because a lot of times there's monsters that will have, like, hardened scales or some sort of... Ugh. A strong point or weak point. So let's see. I have some choices. I can go back into these ruins where there's probably going to be a pit. And inside of that pit is probably going to be a sweet item. Or at the very least, it's any item. As a hoarder, I, I want all the items. If I approach it from this way. Oh, gosh. Is it four already? Hi, sweetie pie. Hi, darling. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have to abandon this conversational topic because for some reason my brain just can't seize onto it. Maybe I use them to blow them up. Yeah, that actually seems sensible. All right, seems like a play. Seems like a build right there. Hi, little kitten. Thank God. Do you have more runes for killing them? If anything dies in this game, you just get the experience. So if somewhere far away something falls off a cliff, you just get those souls. Thirty minutes and you're taking an obligatory baby break. By the way, I, I don't know why I love this, but when you walk through these, 
they just fade away automatically. That That's truly not that amazing, but it feels so amazing to me. Hey, finger lady. You, please, I can read them. I can your read them. Fingers, please, your fingers. Please. That'll be 15 U.S. dollars. To the south. A grand festival to make the stars turn. To the east. The hardened bud of a flower to be. Nice. But dare you enter. Yeah, of course. I'm going east. Into the hall. Scarlet rot. Let's take a peek. Hey. So this, okay, so. Okay, so let me, let me actually just show. So here, so here's the big, scary swamp lake. It's like right in this area. And there's this Celia Crystal Tunnel, which I'll actually put a little marker over here. If we go into a bird's eye view, that's the Celia. Let me, that is marker one, nice. So if some of you have been with us since the very, very start, we actually exited out of that tunnel there into this kind of oblong, cosmic potato-shaped swamp. And so, when we look at this swamp, from above, you'll see this sort of gnarled tree that's spiking up. We've actually been able to take peeks at that for a while. Also, I see a huge castle there in the distance. So we're trying to get to the map area that's actually pretty easily visible from there. So we're just going to head through on this side of things. But there's a little noteworthy spot over there and I want to see if there is an actual cave entrance in these ruins I don't think there is unless that's it literally right there I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to touch this so that is what do you think is the addictive quality of this game well, first of all, I think that one of the reasons this game kicks so much ass is that, broadly speaking, any time a game wants you to pay attention, where you lean in a little bit, and you're trying really hard to focus on a very specific timing, movement, anything, it immediately gives you a much more... Nice. All right, there was one. That is immediately going to give you a much more intimate feeling of connection to it and satisfaction. And there's a number of examples that we can point to. Things like last hitting in a mode. The fact that you're, you're spending that moment leaning in really, really hard. Super, super fun. And each moment where you have that little lean in, ooh. Something is burning. Eleven damage at a time. What might that? I don't want to move in case it's glitching its pathing to me. 25, huh? Oh, whatever. I'm just going in here. So 
like last hitting or in DDR when you're trying to time your step. Like that's a little lean in moment. And so the first point that I'll make is when you have those little lean in moments that also have tiny success spikes, like, ooh, I last hit, yeah. Ooh, I hit the step, yeah. Those are really, 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 really pleasing. And there's a lot of modern games that just kind of have that short success loop quality to them. Oh. I don't even care to do this fight again. There's so many of them. There's so many of these double boys. Yeah, so I think that anytime you have that short lean in, success, cool, lean in, success, cool, I think that that right away creates an incredibly exciting and stimulating gameplay arc. Alright, that, that seems like the basic unit of second to second fun. Now, on a minute to minute sort of fun, there is so much joy, and once you've gotten past stuff, that you get to explore more and you get to see more. If I want to check this out, I might. You know, once you're getting to explore more and see more, oh, it's so fucking sweet, right? You start to, like, get a sense of the world, you start to get a sense of new areas and new environments you're getting to see new art and you're getting to be like oh my god that's so sick these guys make me so uncomfortable all right Oh, the sound effect in this is fucking revolting. And then I just think you get this, like, incredible exploration. And the fact is, like... That sort of lean-in that I was talking about... It changes over time. Like, these enemies behave differently than the other enemies I've fought against. They have different qualities, they have different timings, they have different properties. So you get this mix of, like, lean-in... No, I actually am going to stay the course and go to my my little objective. Hear that twinkle? It's just such such a satisfying arc. Lifesteal fist? Hell yeah, I love lifesteal. Oh, what? Really? There's another one, like, right here? Isn't that kind of close? We 
What, you want me to go that way? No, I'm not going that way. You can't convince me to do that. <laughs> Hi, everyone. See, I'm just literally walking right along this path. Because I just want to get to the... Shadow cast asks something, and I I want to respond. Nice, we did it. Hell yeah. Excellent. Shadow cast is tomorrow. I have to battle with CTO is very protective of the build. Which means it takes six hours per iteration of dev. I brought it down to five minutes to get build results on local while he was away on vacation. I think that if I don't win the battle, it's time to look for a new job. Yeah. Yeah, that shit happens. That shit happens. Sorry, I have a work message coming in. Oh my god, did we just get raided? What? Koikva? Koikva fucking raided? Koikva! Oh shit, are you kidding me? I didn't even know you knew I existed. And here I am when everyone comes in. I'm like, hold on, there's an email coming in. I'm like responding to that stuff. Well, hello, Dota babies. What up? My name's Sean. I'm your pal, one time TI host, Day9. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, Koikva, for any who are here, who are unfamiliar with Koikva, spelled Q-O-J-Q-V-A. Oh. Koikva is a mid laner, streams for Team Liquid, and is just incredibly all-around skillful and entertaining, not just content creator, but Dota player. Oh my god. I watch quite the most days, actually. So it's 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 very it's very cheek reddening to see you joining us today. Well, hi, my name's Sean. Lately, I've been playing a ton of Magic: The Gathering on stream, and generally speaking, just a lot of strategy games, card games, indie games type stuff. Since Elden Ring came out, I I don't even eat. I just think about getting more runes in Elden Ring. That's all I do. Since this has come out, I have literally canceled all of my content just to do Elden Ring. Oh. Oh. So right now... Oh! Oh, I thought I got you! Dude, it's so low on health. Oh. These guys are two hitters. Oops. There's one behind me, so I gotta be careful of that. I'm just gonna run this way. The sound effects for these really freak me out. Ah, oh, fuck. I thought I was in range. Keep doing this. Love me a good chittering noise. Oh. Oh. All right. I can probably... Now that there's just one, it's going to be much more straightforward. They only take six hits with my current weapons. See if 
hoping I'm gonna do his big swinging. Ooh. If I stand back enough, I'll sometimes do his huge swinging. Oh, oh, stop scuttling on me. So, we've just made our way through Kaelin, and we're heading down here, and let me tell you, this area is generous <laughs> with bonfires. Oh my god, is it ever generous. Ugh. Oh. So there's these other sort of tempting ruins, and I want to be very leery about ever actually exploring them. Oh god, let me tell you, whenever you see one of these things... It's a pain. Alright, let's, let's not lose focus. Let's not lose focus. So, so the goal right now is I really want to get the map, and then I can come back to here, and I can check out what's going on underneath here. There's also this tower that's over here that I am interested in investigating, but I, I just want the map. I just want the map. And then, later on, I can actually go back up to this waypoint here, but it looks like it's a huge loop around this bog. I don't necessarily mind just wandering straight on the road. And I know there's a horse, but I don't really care to get on the horse. Juju Rabbit says, oh god, the music. I know, I've been clenching my teeth for two hours. <laughs> I just... Oh, oh, fuck. Yeah, I originally learned about Koifa when uh, BSJ was taking coaching from some on-stream coaching lessons from Koifa. And Koifa started streaming. Right around the times when I was free, you know, the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Spamming Lone Druid, please. Dude, look at how many bonfires are in this area. This game is like, yeah, we're worried you'll die a lot. <laughs> like... This area, the artist shack. Okay, so for instance, this Murkwater Catacombs and Murkwater Cave. Th these are these are underground locations. Same with this one. So in this overground area, yeah, there's a bonfire here and here, which were super close. And there's another one here. But then it's like this is like the only other one for most of Limgrave. It's just these four. And then you're kind of expanding huge or exploring huge open expanses. All right. Is this? I stopped and I was like, is this a monster? Is that... That's this minor Erd tree. Erd tree. Alright. So we've explored almost nothing. Are monster level static or do they scale? <sighs> Alright. Oh, fuck. It's fucking Blight. I'm stuck. Holy fuck. Do damage. This is the game. This is the game. This area is high level. My god. Alright. I don't have any interest in going back there. Not now, at least. My runes? I didn't want them. I didn't need them. Blue Skittle just gifting a five to our wonderful little corner of the internet. Where we have some... I don't know what the name of Quakeville's community is. If there is one. So, I, I am curious about something. 
I have a question. If I do this... You can't see me. Oh shit, he fucking saw me. Make a beeline for the map. Make a beeline for the map. Let us depart. <laughs> oh my god, is this? Oh, first I thought my head would... Or my eyes thought that I was looking at a, uh, some sort of weird dragon head on the ground. Map of Kaelid. Oh, a big ol' area. Oh, shit. Oh my god, and then I came from the other side. Oh. I mean, this is just... This is the game. This is the game. This is okay. So, let's... Let's see if we can get some recipe books out of the way. Buying or selling. I always just get the cookbooks as frequently as I can. A great helm, you say? Champion pauldron. Ah, uh, let's see here. I mean, seven is actually a lot of poise. So let's just get these cookbooks to expand more crafting. So if I look at my current equipment, I think that this is 8.1, 5.8. It's actually pretty similar. A way to do comparisons from this menu. Yeah, we have a little bit more physical or 5.8 with an 8.1 weight thingy. Okay, so I'm not doing this one or this one yet. I want to actually check out what that thing is. You have passive buffs? Uh, I didn't even look. Don't know how to look. Ah, oh, Thunderball. Thunderball. Treat to see him. Thanks for the gift into the five, friendo. Move these. Alright, so let's go ahead and head over this direction and see what that thing is about. Thunderball, a happy Tuesday to you. Is it Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. Ardois says, Sean, what has been the best sequence slash exploration slash fight moment for you so far? Oh my god, definitely, definitely, definitely the Ancestor Spirit and the journey down below to the Seal for a well. The Koik for a well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I just keep mispronouncing areas and then I repeat the mispronunciation so many times. That, uh, you know, it's hard to underdo. It's hard to undo. Alright, we have some poison guys here. I'll just walk around their little oozing bodies. You see any others? Doesn't really look like it. <laughs> the Sephora well. <laughs> yeah, I think the journey down where it just kept going down and then down more and then down more and then down more and more and it's like still going down and it's like, oh my god. Oh. 
there's like nothing noteworthy here, huh? There's some stuffs down there. I could fall down this way. Leaning a little bit. I'm trying to crane my head. What's over here? Boop. I need to get some water in a sec. Pasty cakes. Is, are there anywhere we can watch those moments if we miss them? Are there clips, a particular vod, or a YouTube video? Yeah, pasty cake on my on my YouTube. <laughs> I no longer upload anything except Elden Ring. The last like thirteen uploads on there are my playthrough of this, so you can actually get the one hundred percent. Nice, very. Cool. Is this the Gale Tunnel or the Jail Tunnel? There's going to be a save spot. There is. There's one right there. So I'm going to go touch that. And then... Uh... Oh, is this one of these kind of things? Where, like... I have to fall all the way down? Alright. So let's see. And there's a jump. I kind of slightly wish I hadn't gone all the way down here. Because there's actually no way out, right? I just realized that there's no way out of this. So the map mechanics, if any of you are unfamiliar with this, see how there's this cross through them? You can only teleport if you are not in a cave, or overground, or air quotes. So, I'm gonna have to like work my way through here, so I guess it's time to just do it slowly. against these bastards before, and they're pretty vulnerable to just sidestepping, because they have such long swings. So they, like, really feel the pain. And you have to get the angle pretty precise for the backstabs, but it's okay. like these guys have like stony bodies so I have to be careful because if I do this swing my sword just ugh, like bops off him. the Rosen says if you rest at the uh, grace you should be able to travel that's right that's right that's right that's right that's right that's right thank you for reminding me of that so I'm not trapped so I'm not gonna play carefully so I'm gonna play like a complete clown Hi. So I have a talisman that lets me heal every time I do that. Basically, anytime there's a cutscene. Get some healy dealies. Oh my god, I don't ever intend to learn how to beat those. I don't ever intend to. I just intend to just shiver and run away. And if it's squeezing its body through there, then that's a lot like when I try to put on pants. I 
how I said I didn't want to do that, and then I immediately did it? Yeah, that's how we that's how we get it done here. Alright, this idiot has heard nothing. Anger. So I'm still taking some damage from the fire tip. I'll loot some of this area in a second. Oh yeah, we're doing this all the way. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah. Stab. Swing. Oh, Wild Loose Comets, is there, uh, is there from so a FromSoft rule about which enemies can do damage to other enemies and which can't? It seems super arbitrary from what I've experienced so far. Um, it's actually an interesting question. And I presume that what you're talking about is the idea of friendly fire damage, where like... When I was looking across that bridge towards the tower at Limgrave. Like, over right in here, there's several golems that can deal damage to each other. I think if, if it's that you look all fucking big and clumsy... is actually good that both attacks stagger, because sometimes the first attack will stagger, and then the enemy will be fine again. Smithing stone four. Yes, 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 yes. I gotta be super watchful for uh, anything that's glowing with this yellow tinge. Because this can be, like, super sick crafting materials. Let's see, I came from this way. And, you know, I, I actually didn't even check this room. Sign Quanon67 says, could you shoot the big guy from inside the tunnel if I can't get in there? Oh yeah, we have we have a great ballista, my dude. We're gonna use our ballista bolts and try to pick that guy's face off. Alright, there's been a lot of death behind them, but they haven't noticed or heard a thing. Song suck. All right, so I think one of them is slow and the other is not. They're both fast. And I'm rolling. And I'm rolling. And I'm having a drink. All right, I'm gonna go to this guy first. Holy shit. If I'd have known that you were the real bad guy. I'm getting... I'm going... No! Don't! <laughs> That's the worst, is when you mean to run forward and then you accidentally are just like... Whoa! And you, like, dash back. I think we're gonna have to cheese this. Not that what we've been doing has been non-cheesy. This guy can rotate. Rotations on this man. Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> All 
All right, well, well, may as well just kind of. Smithing stone four. Ah, oh, gold pickle foul foot. Totally sounds like a Master Chef challenge ingredient. You'll be cooking with gold pickled foul foot. An absolute delicacy. They go to the person with the southern accent. I've never even heard of that before. So like Brutus is asking too many questions about Souls games is like asking too many questions in church. I don't know what to do with that statement. Sorry, Brito. I'll be real with you. I have no idea. Say so just build faith and win. Ah, I see where you're going with it. That's so good. And I'm back. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, I think that I've done everything in this area. Now this is a two-way ladder, so that's good. Taking a peek at the surrounding environment. That's a real grunter, huh? And look at this. Look at the diligent work. Such an incredible ethic on this man. Oh. Alright, great. Grace Mimic? I don't know what the Grace Mimic is. I mean, as, as you well know on this channel, I'm not going to look it up by any stretch of the imagination. But I wonder what that is. I could figure it out, but there's exploration to do. Counter BT says that miner had a family, you monster. Oh, I want you to let... Oh, I am the most desensitized person ever. I mean, in God of War, when Kratos was saying to his son, Close your heart to it. The kid's like on the verge of tears. Close it. I was just howling. I just the most heartless man ever. You know what? I hope that he has a family that he just wrote a letter to and they received it today. I hope that, sincerely. Nope. Oh shit. Are you kidding me? Well, this is the last thing in the world I wanted to do. The best part about having high stamina. Remember what I was just saying? I don't agree with that shit at all. I don't agree with that shit at all. And I bet you that's a relink point through the other door. Still confused by the two-way ladder comment? Okay, I can explain that. There are ladders in this game that are one way. Like, you go to the bottom, you drop off. So you can't actually go back. And that's it. Although, I, I do appreciate how hilariously odd that sounds. At first blush. I appreciate how weird that sounds.
Good luck. leave these guys. I mean, they're, they're, they're busy mining their Bitcoins, man. I'm gonna go over this way. Yeah, see, I finally made the joke, too, huh? <laughs> so, I want to stress that I'm learning. I'm a learning person. Oh, look at that. Nice. As a learner, professionally speaking. Oh, yeah. Steamed warrior. Where did you spring from? Oh my god, I love this guy. I love this guy. What's going on here? A door from thin air. Well, stranger things happen at sea, or so I'm told. But onward. Yeah, it's it's our jar, buddy. Gosh, that dead end had me rather stumped. Dude, the onion knight. It's time I set off to the festival. At Redmain Castle on the southern edge of the scarlet rot blighted Kaelid Wilds. Nice. Doesn't the thought just set your heart a flutter? Perfect. It's time I set off to the festival. Doesn't the thought just Okay, so that is almost certainly this. This area is probably where I can go. So dude, oh no, no way, no way. Please tell me these things connect. Oh, dude, please. That would be the sickest. Oh my god, I would adore. Alright, well, this is gonna make the runs to this boss way easy easier. Well, Crestfallen says, hey, Sean, where does the term Onion Knight come from? Um, in Dark Souls 1, there's literally a knight called an Onion Knight. What? Really? I looked for a spot like this, and I missed it! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I mean, the, the armor literally looks like an onion. I think it's just called onion armor. It's awesome. Got a tail, huh? Oh, doesn't everyone have a tail these days? Timing right, but he was swinging in the wrong place. The timing would have been right if I were in front of him. Oh, wait, I can just run, huh? Oh, I'm on the lava and I'm stuck. Camera souls. Oh, 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 oh. 